Hey guys, today is Sunday, number the next, and our automotive agenda for the day is to fix the back deck in the Cutlass. Someone cut out like a big huge hole in the cardboard deck for like some speakers that were cobbed in. One speaker was completely toast, it didn't even work. So we're gonna switch back to the original one speaker in the back deck, one speaker up front next to the stereo setup, and repair the back deck. I'll actually go show you right now the terrible condition that the back speaker deck is in, so let's head out. All right, so this is the back deck of the car. This is made out of like a cardboard material. Um, and yeah, as you can see, it is absolutely shot. This stuff has been torn and ripped. Big, huge hole cut out here for the speaker. This is where the original speaker would have gone. I don't know what happened here. We think the car had a water leak in the back window at one point in time because the seals around that are basically completely shot. Um, it's not too rusty though, which is good. So what we're gonna do is take the one good working speaker. This is a Rockford Fosgate. I've never heard of the brand, but we hooked it up and it actually sounds pretty good. So that's gonna go right here in the original hole. And then this insulation stuff that's just disintegrating is going to be replaced by this. This is a mover's blanket. It's kind of a, um, I don't know, they make it out of recycled fabric. It's a nice, soft, insulate kind of material. We'll bond that on with some Loctite spray adhesive. Dad's actually out of the store right now looking for fabric for the other side. I actually can't lift this up without it falling apart, but there's fabric on the other side. And then he's also looking for a new piece of cardboard. If he can find something like this, we're just gonna trace out a pattern from this cardboard piece and make a whole new one. But if not, then I guess we'll just stick with the old one and patch it up as best we can. It literally is very, very close. You know, yeah, even the original. look is the same. This is just like a hard, almost like a screen door. Mm -hmm. And this will be a nice, soft, because it's gonna be, have this underneath it. So it'll be somewhat yeah. padded. It's almost like, um, like what a piece of furniture, like a recliner would be made of or something. That's what I wanted. I wanted like a, a furniture fabric type, something heavy duty, not just thin, like t-shirt material, because yeah. it'll look much, much nicer. painted in here, you'll be able to tell by all of the Pontiac gray. Oh yeah. Look at that. Where the, where the seat went. Oh, and the back bars and the back deck. Yeah, in the corners. Hmm. Oh, I should definitely protect it. I also painted a spot in the trunk where Basically, they just went around in here with the undercoating. They never really did any prep. Mm -hmm. So back in that corner, it, it literally just peeled right off. Oh. So I wire brushed it. I mean, it was good metal under it, but I just wire brushed it and put a coat of that on as well. Raise the back end. If we roll one wheel and the other wheel rolls the same way, we have a limited slip differential. Did they come with that? Yeah. Well, it was an option. 
See if the tire turns towards the front of the car or turns towards the back of the car. Okay. Uh, it's turning counterclockwise. Okay. And then it's an open rear end. It's turning the opposite way of what I'm spinning this one. It's kind of what I figured it would be. What have you got in your mouth there? Oh, you've been into stuff. We can't leave you alone for 10 seconds. What is this? Recipe cards, nail files. It's like having a toddler in the house. All right, we got the new felt padding in on the bottom and there's a whole nother piece behind the back seat here. The new rebuilt rear deck is in with the one speaker in the center where it should go. It's that Rockford Audio speaker I showed you earlier. This cloth is actually a really nice match with the rest of the interior. It's a little bit brighter of a blue, but it still looks really nice. All that's left to do for this part is to throw the back seat in right here. This side's in. Come around. They are quite white. New LED interior lights. Yeah, they're uh, definitely more of like a white white. Yeah. Than the more warm white. The dash is going to look really dim now with the stock incandescence in it. Yeah. Well, after dark. I mean, you don't drive around with those lit up anyway. Yeah. So, it doesn't really matter. But yeah, they definitely light it up good in there. Yep. 